morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Brad Martin. Brad was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And I have a real neat aircraft for you today. This is the Tian Shang TS 866 uh, F6F Hellcat. Now, what's so special about this plane? Well, it's six axis stabilized, which means it should make flying very easy for beginner pilots in that um, it will not roll over. It shouldn't roll over. It shouldn't uh, flip over. Um, you should be able to fly this without actually getting into problems. <laughs> okay, If you get into problems, just let go of the stick. And this thing with its automatic stabilization system, even in wind, should maintain balance. It should uh, come to uh, level flight very easily, very quickly. But you can turn off those features if you want by pressing this button here and fly it manually and do uh, loops and rolls. Now there's something else that's very special, very special about this airplane. It's a three-channel airplane, but normally in three-channel airplanes you see a rudder control uh, with the right stick and elevator control. Well, this does have elevator control, but not rudder control. It actually has ailerons for turning. So with that in mind, with the ailerons and a three-channel, normally with three channels you can't do rollovers or rolls. Um, with this one, hopefully you can. You might be able to actually do such. Uh, in manual mode and one other thing this has and i'm not sure how well that works but you press and hold the left button on the controller and it enters uh, automatic landing mode and i tried that i haven't flown it yet but i tried that by holding the aircraft and it seems to put the aircraft in uh, high power mode and i don't know what it does after that um, i'm kind of actually afraid to try that now there's one um, other thing, let's see, one other thing about this, this comes with very common uh, white low C batteries. You can use uh, 300 uh, up to 500 should be able to fit in there. It comes with a 350 milliamp per hour. Uh, some folks that have gotten this already recommend using actually a 500 milliamp per hour CMAX 5C battery uh, for uh, maintaining uh, center of gravity. But I'm using the stock battery today, so we're going to fly it with the stock. And if that be, comes to be a problem, I'll switch to a CMAX 5C battery, which I happen to have. Now, a con. And that is the packaging for this aircraft. Uh, the packaging for this aircraft is not very conducive for international shipments. <laughs> Mine was smashed. Actually, it looks the box looked like somebody actually jumped on the dang thing or sat on it. And with that in mind, it did damage my airplane. If you can see here, this right side here is a little bit smashed. The tail was bent over and broken off, and I had to use my wife's uh, facial steamer to uh, recenter that. And even still, there's some bend in that tail, so I'm not certain how well this is going to fly. But I'm going to fly it anyways, folks. But keep in mind, the packaging for this doesn't... <laughs> doesn't ensure that you're going to get an undamaged aircraft, unfortunately. But uh, for those of you who've been, that have uh, been modeling for a while, you'll know that you can repair foam or straighten it out using heat. Uh, normally people just submerge it in hot boiling water and that normally, or hot water, and that normally uh, straightens things out. You could also use steam like I did. But even such, you know, I'm not certain how well I've straightened that tail out, so that might be a problem. Okay, let's go over the controls real quick. Uh, again, this is the controller. You have on-off switch here. Again, you hold this one down and that enters into landing mode. Quick press of this button here switches between uh, stabilized and unstabilized manual flying. And you have throttle control, but no yaw. This, this doesn't do anything moving the yaw stick. But this does move the aileron, so you will have aileron control and also pitch control. And you have throttle trim, you have uh, pitch trim, and roll trim so that's it let's fire it up and show you how it works hopefully hopefully it'll fly <laughs> hopefully my repair job uh will work but let's find that first off let's turn on the airplane by plugging it in okay that battery is velcroed in there so they, they do give you some velcro to attach to your battery so it doesn't flop around if you get a battery that flops around that's going to affect the center of gravity and it also might affect the the gyros so uh it is a good idea to use Velcro. Now this cover is held by a magnet, rare earth magnet on the back there. Make sure that that cover does close all the way though. There we go. So that's fired up. Now put it on the ground and the wind's coming from that direction there. So I'm gonna point the airplane in that direction. And the gyros should be stabilizing, calibrating and 
finalizing once you turn this on. Now, you bind it like such, up and down on the throttle, and you can calibrate the gyros. I'm not going to do that. I've done it at home, but by, I'll do it. What the hey? You bring both sticks down and out, and you hold them as such for three seconds until you see a flutter of the ailerons, and that recalibrates the gyros. Okay, and the control surface is checking up, down. Now, let me show you something. Show you that it is indeed stabilized. Let's turn to the left, see how the ailerons counter that. <laughs> so they're trying to recalibrate, you know, re-level uh, the airplane for level flight. So this stabilization system is working. Again, the wind's coming from that direction. Let's give it throttle and see if it flies. Hopefully it does. Well, what do you know, folks? <laughs> now I am almost at full throttle. <laughs> So it does not have a lot of power. Oh, it's picking up speed now. It works. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to try anything yet. I want to see how it flies with my repairs. Turning to the left. It looks good. The color scheme on this is what the Navy painted the F6F after World War II. They uh, painted with this color scheme, and that is for target drones. <laughs> as a target drone and as a uh, tow plane for towing targets. So that's what they did with these. I'm almost at full throttle, folks, but I want to get it up high first and then switch to manual mode and see how it works. <laughs> there is not a lot of power on this, so I don't think it can do loops, to tell you the truth, but we'll go to manual here shortly. You ready? Let's try it. Back to stabilize. <laughs> Going back up again. I want to give me some room here. Well, Going back to manual stabilize. It doesn't have the power, folks, to do loops. It's just a flyer. There's not much power on this at all. Just enough to keep it in the air. It seems heavy, it looks heavy, and it is heavy. So keep that in mind. So for the remainder of the flight, we're gonna stay close. And I don't know about putting that uh, 500 milliamp per hour battery in this, because that would probably weigh down the airplane more. Because look, I am almost at full power. <laughs> So it's a cool looking scale model of a plane. I don't know about it being a great flyer because it seems heavy and it is heavy. But it flies, it does. And uh, my repair job obviously fixed it up. Okay, I'm almost at full throttle now to keep it in the air. That battery's probably getting weak trying to keep this airplane in the air. So we're gonna land it. Now I have another battery. Let's try that CMAX 5C battery, see if it does lift it up in the air. If it can actually fly with CMAX 5C. But that's the flight time you get with the stock battery. Not very long. Again, I was almost at full power for that whole flight because, again, this thing is heavy. <laughs> so, but it flies. That's all we needed to sh uh, show. And uh, as such, it was very easy to fly with a stabilization system, so it should be a good beginner's plane. So let me put in that CMAX 5C battery and see how that works. Hold on, folks. Okay, I have the CMAX 5C battery in there. It takes up the whole compartment area, but it fits. It does fit, but it does jam in, or take up the whole area. So plugging it in, it's plugged in. Now, CMAX 5C batteries are very plentiful, very cheap, widely available. But I wanna make sure you can close that door too. Hold on. Yep, door is closed, putting it back on the ground, wind's still coming from that direction, turning on the controller, binding, checking surfaces, up and down, full throttle. Will it even lift off? Well, yeah, it is. Full throttle. <laughs> so I'm going to land it, folks. That's going to burn out the motor if I keep flying it like that. This time, I have one spare 350 milliamp per hour. 
let's put that another 350 in there and see how that works. I do have a spare. Okay, I put in that spare 350, plugging it up again and closing up the door. Let's see how this one powers it. On the ground, wind is still coming from my left here. Turning on the transmitter, binding, checking surfaces, up then, and away we go. <laughs> that battery's having problems. <laughs> I'm at full throttle. Full throttle, folks. That battery's having problems lifting it. But it's flying. <laughs> I don't know how long that battery's going to last. But yeah, it is somewhat heavy. Somewhat heavy plane. But it does fly. So, now I'm not sure I fully charged that battery either. This, <laughs> this is a spare battery. I always carry a 350 with me because it comes, in, comes handy every once in a while having it. But, well, you know, this would be a good indoor flyer in the winter. Because with those ailerons because it does turn very quickly and you should be able to keep this easily well it's a good park flyer too as you can see here I'm flying in a park coming back down you can do figure eights very easily with it in a small area so yeah good indoor flyer try to get it back up again Yeah, that battery's wearing, getting, having a hard time. It's just a cheap battery I'm too, using too in this. No stunts with this, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be able to do stunts, but it just does not have the power for it, folks. So, okay, we're gonna call quits here shortly. I don't wanna hurt that battery because <laughs> I, it's not a good battery I got in there. It's it's real cheap, generic 350. <laughs> not with a. We'll keep flying until I can't fly anymore. But I can't go chasing after these guys. I love chasing after these guys, but I can't with this plane. It just doesn't have the oomph. <laughs> it's a beginner's, beginner's plane, pure beginner's plane. Even though it supposedly has capabilities, it don't have the power to do those rolls and loops. But it can't fly in the wind. It's real gusty here, by the way. Um, not real gusty, but you know, like three to five mile per hour gust that's going into the wind right now. It's come down one, and I'll show you that. Oh, battery's wearing out. Time to consider landing. Coming into the wind. Boom. Oh, I wanted to show you with the, the propeller came off, but let me show you how this goes back on and off. Just cl It's got a clip. It's a clip-on propeller. And the idea is to prevent damage. But see these uh, three sides here, and it has these these clips that go into this triangle here, and you just they just snap in, and they snap off too. By the way, so that's to prevent damage to the propeller and the motor too. In case you crash into something, the propeller pops off, and you get a spare propeller too. So let me unbuckle that, give you my final thoughts on this. Well. I do like the look, really nice look um, of the F6F, uh, but again, the packaging for this <laughs> needs a lot to be desired, and it really doesn't have a lot of power, even though you got these new ailerons, oh man, if only they put a bigger motor, a bigger battery in this to give it more power, I could see this thing doing loops and rolls, <laughs> all kinds of stunts. But unfortunately, again, it's made mainly as a beginner's airplane, probably mainly indoors too, because of the speed and the power it needed to fly. Um, it flew even at high power; it's a very slow flyer. So, um, again, a beginner's plane. So, this is Quadcopter 101. I hope you enjoyed this flight. Let me get one more thumbnail. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Mm -hmm.